They thought you wouldn't know what to do without them. Strength reverse. They thought you were going to be feeling insecure, weak, powerless, tower. No, somebody's not at all. This situation maybe empowered you, put you in this courage energy, maybe forced you to step up and lead or be more responsible, more independent. Okay, you guys could be getting readings done, paying for readings. Some of you guys could be a reader yourself. At the end of the rainbow. Death. At the end. You, it's something forced you to go into some kind of rebirth. Spiritual rebirth. Three of Swords reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> These could have been something with your friends or coworkers or somebody you were working up with, teaming up with. with. You now you decided to end up moving on from somebody. Looks like a group of people. Six of Cups. Okay, somebody's soulmate is getting readings done on them. The full Six of Cups, waving goodbye to the past. You see this little leprechaun guy? Wave him, got, <laughs> wave him goodbye to the past. On the Bull of Fortune reversed. Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Leo. Okay. Six of Cups. Sorry. These just all spilled out. Let me see something real quick. Seven of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. Six of Swords reversed. Chariot reversed. Magician. Okay. I just feel like somebody's having a wake-up call. They're being given a reality check or they need to wake up. Um, because they've just been staying stuck and stagnant and they're, they're getting very aggravated. But like they're not doing anything about it. They have to take action. Knight of Swords and the Magician, they got to take control somehow and do something. They've been stuck in some kind of illusions. There's unrequited love here or something. They need to wake up, get out of this day, this dream, this some kind of fantasy or daydream or something like that. You found a way. They thought you wouldn't know what to do without them. You found a way. They need to find a way. They're the ones stuck. Maybe they thought you were going to be stuck and not have no kind of control. Show me this Wheel of Fortune reverse. Okay. Somebody's oh yeah, see they're stuck imprisonment. Maybe they tried to they thought you was gonna be in jail or trying to figure out how to get out of jail or you was gonna be restricted or arrested or something. Message courtship. Somebody has no control, they can't control things. Something to do with a relationship or courtship. They could have messaged you, called you, or you guys spoke. Some kind of communications. Some third party has to figure something out. Okay, show me this message, spirit. Will of Fortune reverse. They didn't realize this whole time they was just racking up worse and worse bad karma. Just racking up karmic debt. Message, courtship. They're losing an inheritance for some of y'all or losing some kind of money. Could be something about insurance insurance renters insurance some kind of insurance taxes joint finances joint property losing other people's resources or money fulfillment ninth house scorpio and sagittarius somebody literally could be moving or moving on to somebody else moving to somebody else's home someone else's house could be something about business too a business trip i see a boat here and it looks like 
some masculine energy is getting ready to depart or waiting for some kind of ships to come through. I see also a money bag here. Yeah, somebody's, maybe they told them they're moving. Courtship message. Oh, man. Venus and uh, Virgo. Sixth house. They don't want to change. They're stuck and they're not doing nothing about it. Riches. Your soulmate could be rich or um, make good money or financially independent or ve be very responsible, Capricorn. Riches. Six of cups. I feel like somebody's soulmate is wealthy or something. Or there's been a change in their um, status, social status, their career. I feel like somebody's soulmate is going to be happy. Somebody's soulmate is going to be happy. They're waving goodbye like, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Riches. Yeah, see? Happy. Going to be happy in this other person. And this, in their pride and ego. They're being released. They're totally broke. Totally. This is sad. Somebody's soulmate makes good money. They're living the dream or something like that. Losing an inheritance message. Nine of Wands reverse. They're constantly upset. They're spoiled. They want to keep being spoiled. They're entitled. This person, what the fuck is wrong with this person? They need to improve their life and take some kind of action on that. <laughs> They're just waiting for somebody else to do something for them. But you're not trying to do that. You're unbothered, unburdening yourself, learning to say no. That's not your, your burdens to carry. That's not your baggage to carry. Wow. Discrimination reverse, sixth house. Yeah, spoiled brat energy, upset, throwing tantrums and stuff. Unrequited love, you're not attracted to them. You're not showing them no love. They could be acting very childish about this situation right now. Five of Wands, there's like kicking and screaming energy. See this riches one more time. Judgment reverse. Yeah, see, they try to get this person to look at you in a negative light. Try to try to um. They try to have this person look at you as something that you're you're not. They could have gossiped a lot about you or something. They wanted this person to look at you like you were stuck in life or something. You you were stuck. You didn't know which direction to go in life. Judgment reverse, chariot reverse, riches, 10th house. I already told you, you ain't getting shit from me. This came out on top of ignoring phone calls. It flew way over there ignoring phone calls or texts so they're just blowing up somebody's phone dang i already told you they're in denial i already told you you ain't getting shit from me out of pocket something about some thongs or some kind of underwear sick and tired of them doing dark magic over me you got to do the things that keep a smile on her face what goes around comes around there's no more of them leading me astray. Dang. See, they're stuck. Bad karma. They never expected this, I feel like. I already told you, you ain't getting shit from me. Five of Swords. They did too much to try to sabotage this person's happiness. Five of Swords. They already ruined it. They're on their own. Nine of Coins. They could have been trying to fuck with some um, independent person, single person, or some kind of pregnant person. Death Reverse and Emperor. 
somebody's financially independent, riches, very responsible, working hard, enjoying the fruits of their labor. You're not just paying bills and then broke at the end of your checks or end of the revenue period or whatever. You're actually enjoying life, enjoying the finer things in life, having luxury, going out to eat, donating to other people, nine of coins. This could be a woman that's independent financially. Knight of Pentacles reverse and Six of Pentacles. You could definitely be helping um, your partner or planning to do this if you're a feminine energy. Giving to charitable, sorry, giving to charity, um, being charitable, donating, sharing your money, sharing your wealth. Excuse me. You could be giving to um, other people, gifting. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio with this death card. Chariot reverse. What goes around surely does come back around. Goodness, you're a good person. Humanness, humanitarian, morality, merit making. You're very spiritual or something like that. This glare. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Withdrawal. Quitting, awakening, rejection. You could be somebody older too. Protest, some kind of protest energy. Stress, somebody's stressed. Lack of sleep, pressure, headaches. Somebody's stressing over y'all. Oh, they try to ruin your reputation or something. Or how this person or other people looked at you. And it did not work. Some of y'all could have quit a job and became self-employed or something. Started your own businesses. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like um, there's a woman that is financially independent. Maybe a motherly energy or somebody business-minded. Financially stable, stable, grounded. Somebody was trying to have somebody else or other people, because this is 10th house energy, so something with your status, reputation, your career, how other people look at you. 10th house. Capricorn. I feel like you're somebody responsible and mature. Like I said, you could be somebody older, an older person between 60 and your 60s. I see 60 and 64 here. There's some kind of jealousy here too. Knight of Pentacles reverse. They did not want somebody to commit to a good lady. Good lady. You're a good lady, good woman. Could be really classy. You're very generous. Keep a good home. You guys could have a dog. I see a dog here. This lady has a dog, a companion. Very fruitful or strawberries here. Yeah, you got, you're very, um, a lot of prosperity in your life, a lot of growth in your life, fertility, you guys could be a homemaker, could be retired or approaching retirement. You've been working really, really hard in your life. Somebody just didn't want somebody to commit to you. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Out of jealousy or envy, five of swords, ten of cups, death reversed. There's no more lead of them leading me astray. Something with your image. They wanted them to look at you negatively. But you're a good lady. Otherwise, why are they stressed for? That whole plot to make you look bad didn't work. 
you could have definitely changed or matured or you're somebody mature message about a courtship gloomy thoughts if if a man was um, unfaithful to you or disloyal to you or treated you um, poorly or was not right to you he's trying to move on from that military person is here too he's done being a bad gentleman or a bad man five of cups three verses came out on top of because he's had a revelation maybe you have too he could have been very selfish in the past along with other people mistreating you but something has changed death and then the fool <clears throat> he's withdrew somebody's withdrew from some kind of people negative people and somebody's having gloomy thoughts they could be having thoughts of committing suicide or something this person's on the edge of the cliff getting ready to jump off of that cliff okay let's pull some tea leaf here you're a good woman arrow you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life y'all could be a Sagittarius butterfly you made a change for the better butterfly karma see they're getting karma you're getting good karma somebody else is getting bad karma whoever did some shady shit to you karma you will reap what you have sown 